The best division in mixed martial arts is the strawweight division. You have frantic action. You have skill, you have technique, and we're starting to see more and more power every day. Without the Invicta FC strawweight division, we're not talking about 115 pound women fighting on a national stage, really anywhere. Strawweight division in Invicta FC up until that point had been one of the most exciting, most vital divisions that the organization had had. So what happened was that she brought all of this attention to this weight class and it built up and just phenomenal stars coming out of that like Angela Hill, Paige Van Zandt, Rose Nama Yunus, you know these people coming out of it that were just, just incredible fighters and all of a sudden it was gone. Invicta FC is, is responsible for allowing the best 115 pounders in the world to realize their dream and, and realize that they are the number one fighter. And when anybody is fighting for that title, they're not just the best in Invicta, they're one of the best in the world. What we see with the current state of the Invicta FC strawweight division, potential being achieved. And now we're at a time where we can headline Invicta FC with two of the best straw weights in the world people have probably never heard of. And that is kind of incredible. These two women are, they're stars. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be fireworks. The interesting thing, we've seen this a few times in Invicta, we have undefeated Brazilians come in and you go, well, what's, what's the level of competition have they faced? How are they gonna do against you know, our athletes? And then either they sink or swim and Verna Janji Roba, my goodness, she's an Olympic level swimmer, if, if it's that analogy, because the, Amy Montenegro is tough. We've seen Amy, you know, have one of the more uh, heart testing fights against Selena Haga last year, and she had nothing for Janji Roba. Oh, that is set up, TJ. Amy Montenegro taps Verna Janji Roba, wow. victorious. Mizuki has a lot of people buzzing about her as maybe the next big thing in, in Japanese mixed martial arts. When you look at her, she has a very good wrestling game, she has a, a good submission game, and she can throw strikes with absolutely anybody and enjoys doing so. You know, she came back to Invicta, she's won fights since then, but she's been plagued by injuries. And now, this opportunity with Janeza Moranjan falling out of this main event is the perfect opportunity for Mizuki to realize her dream, to catapult herself to the top of the 115 pound division in Invicta FC. Mizuki can beat anyone on any night. And she's gonna try to do that against Verna Janji Rope. I'm really happy, it's a dream that I'm realizing. And I think it's an incredible opportunity to show my work to the world. I think it's the time. I want to use my own power. 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 普段の練習が厳しかったりするのでやっぱそういう時に自分のいつもの練習が報われたっていう気持ちがいいなって To be an Invicta FC champion validates your status as a fighter on a global stage and Mizuki wants it more than anything else in the world I think there is something in both of these two competitors that is authentic and genuine, that they will give every single part of themselves. What you're gonna see is two people who were born to fight. So when we come to watch fights on TV or in the arena itself, we want that authentic feel of a fighter, that personality of the fighter to come out. You may not know Portuguese or Japanese or whatever language any fighter speaks on any given night, but there's something very universal about the language of throwing hands and grabbing arms and, and trying to rip them off. I'm telling you, you watch this fight and you're going to understand exactly what these two women are about. This is absolutely the time where Mizuki and Verna Janjiroba will show you
who they are. 